friends, and welcome to What's for Dinner Christmas Edition. This is What is for Christmas Dinner. I'm going to show you in the first part of this video what we had on Christmas Eve at our house. Everything was so delicious. It was an easy lineup because Christmas fell on Sunday and we did have church that morning. So I wanted to prepare things ahead that I could and that way when we got home it wouldn't take so so long to get everything pulled together it worked out really great and was so delicious our ham was the star of the show james did the ham and he put some pineapple and some honey and some cherries and was really good i made these brown betties we have deviled eggs rolls we have our charcuterie mini quiches we have some shrimp cocktail broccoli cauliflower casserole mississippi potatoes a yummy grinch punch and some tasty desserts we have some delicious sugar cookies that our sweet daughter-in-law made and a dessert recipe that i don't think i've ever shown on here i'm not sure and it is called ritz cracker dessert so i didn't show everything it was Sunday, it was Christmas Eve, I was making a big meal, and I was sick, <laughs> so I didn't film everything, but I'm going to show you some clips of what I did film, and I'm going to tell you about all of it. I made broccoli cauliflower casserole on my stovetop. I just cooked together frozen broccoli and cauliflower drain that off, put in some Velveeta and just some butter and got that to the consistency I wanted. And then for the topping, which is the favorite part, is some butter and Ritz crackers. And so mix those two together and that is such a great topping on anything. And in fact, I'm gonna show you dessert here in a few minutes that has those same things for dessert. It is delicious and you don't wanna miss that. but just got this cracker crumb all together pour that on top of my broccoli casserole and that's always such a good side dish anytime I'm going to show you a little bit of the brown betties I was working on I have showed this on my channel before so I will link to it below um, and I don't show this all the way through to completion this time because I made this portion before we left for church that morning. So it's a pound of breakfast sausage, browned up and drained, a little bit of Worcestershire, and Velveeta cheese. Simple ingredients. You let that all melt together and then they go, um, this gets on top of little cocktail breads. So I like to use the um, pumpernickel. I have also bought the little... Um, it's like a baguette that are cut up into little slices. Sometimes Kroger has those all bagged up already cut. I have put them on there before and that's great. All you want to do once they are on top of the little breads, I put a little bit of Italian seasoning on top and bake those 10 or 15 minutes. The bread crisps up a little bit and the mixture on top gets all melty on the bread. These are a perfect little appetizer. They're a big hit. Every time I make them and take them, they are de devoured and people want to know the recipe. Like I said, I didn't show that to completion because I'm telling you, I was doing good to get any of this done. I um, got sick about two weeks before Christmas and it held on and held on. And to be honest, I feel like I still have a touch of it now and we are um, halfway through January. So it was a rough sickness. I know many people have had it. Um, but so that's why I didn't and I even thought you know maybe I shouldn't even share any of this on here but I wanted to share a little bit of it I will show the potatoes sometimes I've never showed those on my channel I'll do that soon and then James took care of the ham as a uh, spiral ham he put cherries some pineapple on there I think some honey down in there we just did that in the crock pot like I said with this being a Sunday Christmas Eve church <laughs> and me not feeling well um, I just did the best I could but I tell you it was delicious there were no complaints um, we enjoyed it all and more than anything time spent with family is just a treasure I never take that for granted
now I'm going to show you the dessert that I made for our Christmas Eve dinner and it's called Ritz Cracker Dessert. So coconut, Ritz crackers, vanilla pudding, butter, vanilla ice cream, whipped topping, and pecans. Those are the ingredients you need to make this dessert that is oh so delicious. So first off into my bowl here, I am going to get my pecans. I kind of broke those up a little bit because they were the uh, whole pieces there. So I'm going to mix those with the butter and I'm going to also crush three tubes of Ritz crackers to add in. Now the original recipe calls for four. I have cut back to three through the years and honestly you could probably really even do two. It's kind of like a thickness of like a graham cracker crust. Some people like it thicker, some people like it thinner. It doesn't, it's not wrong either way, it's just preference. I feel like I could have had even less of this particular topping. So next time around I'll probably do two sleeves of the Ritz crackers. Once you get this all mixed together and all coated in the butter, part of this is going to be your crust and part of it is going to be your topping. Now I am mixing the softened vanilla ice cream. I just left that on the counter for a little while so it would soften up. I am mixing that with one box of vanilla pudding I am putting in my coconut, which I'll have the whole recipe down below, and then I am putting in the whipped topping. You're going to fold all of this together until it gets well incorporated, and it is the filling for this Ritz cracker dessert. So I'm going to put this on my stand mixer here, and in normal Angie fashion, it is very full and <laughs> starting to come over the side but we got the job done, we got the mess cleaned up, and the mixture was all ready to go into the dessert. Now onto the top, you sprinkle the remaining mixture of your crackers, your pecans and your butter and that gets smoothed all over the top and then you want to put this in the freezer until time to serve. So I usually do a good coating of saran wrap or not a coating, I put a good wrap of saran wrap over the top make sure it's really secured and then I usually go over it with aluminum foil as well. And you put this in the refrigerator, you want to pull it out a little bit before time to serve and it is delicious and it keeps in the freezer for a good while as well. Hey, we've not been together since Christmas Eve. We've all had sickness going around and various things, but it is family night. I'm gonna show you what we made tonight. Got everything de christmased except for I kept my, my little tree there. And uh, we're just waiting and ready for family night. Here's what we had. Hi guys, tonight I am making my mom's um, turkey pot pie. So here it is, my little um, handwritten cookbook. This thing is full of recipes that have been given to me from family and friends. I love it. So I think I've made this on my channel before. Not 100% sure, but I think I have. And um, it's just the recipe for turkey pot pie that my mom always made with leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. So I had some bags of leftover turkey. And this is also a recipe that my boys loved when they were at home. Sometimes even when my mom would make it for her and my dad, she would bring us over some because it makes a nine by 13. So my boys love this too. So tonight's family night and I am going to make this for dinner. So let's get started on this. I'll have the recipe down below. Okay, first off we're gonna spray nine by 13. This is what I'm gonna be using to make it in tonight. Okay, the recipe calls for um, about a pound of leftover turkey. And this is just under a pound. And I'm gonna go in with my kitchen scissors here and just kind of chop this down into smaller pieces from how I um, stored it from Thanksgiving in my freezer bag. Just gonna go in here and get some of these bigger pieces. Yeah, you can see they're probably, probably would just break apart as we stir this together or go to serve it, but I'm just gonna give it a rough chop here 
with my kitchen scissors. And then one other thing, if you are adamantly against um, cream of soups, this is not the pot pie for you. This does include cream of chicken and cream of celery, which I don't have cream of celery, so I'm just using cream of chicken, but I am not opposed to cream of soups. Um, they have their place in a good many recipes and I'm okay with that. Okay, this looks good. Kitchen scissors to the rescue. Now I'm gonna go in with my canned ingredients. Also, I will say, as I'm opening these, if you are opposed to canned veggies, you can swap out for frozen veggies. But I think this recipe is similar to the one um, by the canned veggie brand called Veg All. I know they have a turkey pot pie recipe. And so this is similar to that one, I think, too. I haven't compared it, but I think it is using these canned vegetables. Okay, let me drain these off real quick. So it calls for two cans of mixed veggies drained. Get those in. And then it calls for two cans of cream of chicken, one can of cream of celery. I'm just gonna go with two cans of cream of chicken right now and see what um, consistency it gives me. And that may be something that I will just end up using two cans as opposed to three. We'll see. And then it also calls for chicken broth. And then you make your own topping and that is delicious. It's kind of One of these is a regular recipe. One of it, one of them is a, um, let's see, is it called healthier choice? Healthy request. That's why they're two different colors. Cream soups are in. I'm just gonna give this just a quick little toss here. Look how, oh, let me get you over here. Filming on my phone because my battery's dead on my camera. Wow, this looks amazing. So delicious. Yeah, I think two cream soups really is plenty, actually. It would just, of course, be more creamy, creamy and have more gravy with the three. I think I'm gonna do the two. And now it calls for just, this isn't, you know, my mom's recipe and she just has a can of chicken broth. Back in the day, chicken broth, well, you can still get it in like these 15 ounce cans. That's what it is. So I've just made my own with the um, dry chicken base. I love using that. I think it's more flavorful in my opinion and it's certainly much more cost effective when you're needing broth. Yes, look at this. Delicious. Okay, and I'm not gonna stir the fire out of this. It really doesn't need it. Plus I don't wanna just keep stirring and mess with the veggies. So let's just go ahead. I mean, look how quick and easy you guys. Like I said, if you put the third can, it would definitely stretch it a little further, maybe make it a little creamier, of course. You can just do it with the two if you want. Here we go. Look at that, so beautiful. So beautiful. All right, next I'm gonna work on the topping. Let me show you that. Okay, for the topping, you're gonna need one and a half cups of self-rising flour. You're gonna need, this is hot, one stick of melted butter. and a cup of milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir in this butter. I'm using that whisk because I'm getting ready to mash some potatoes here, or not a whisk, but getting ready to mash some potatoes. I already had that out, so I'm gonna use it. And then now, let's get the milk in there. I kind of want to scoop this out 
evenly over your top high. it around evenly as best as you can you don't want to have a big glump here and none there yeah it's looking delicious okay perfect now I usually go over with a little bit of parsley and since I didn't add any pepper to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Of course, the butter in there just makes this such a yummy buttery crust on top. Okay, check this out. Looks great. It bakes 35 to 45 minutes or until it's done, golden brown. Of course, every oven's different, so just 35, 45 minutes is your gauge. And that's 350. Since we were having turkey pot pie, I figured something pumpkin for dessert was in order. So we're gonna go for the three ingredient pumpkin bread. So all you need for this is one box spice cake mix. You need three eggs and a can of pumpkin. I had seen this recipe all around during the fall and bought the stuff to make it and just never did get around to it. So tonight seemed like the perfect night. And so it's just these three ingredients um, and we really liked it. It was very easy to put together, very quick. Um, it baked for about 50 minutes, I think it was, in the oven. And so that was just doing its thing while I was getting the rest of dinner ready. And it had a really good taste. It was very moist. I would definitely make it again. Um, you could put a glaze over it or an icing, but I just had the fresh pumpkin bread with butter. And there it is, uh, just kind of cooling down. Here is the pot pie out of the oven. It is so good, you guys. You gotta try this recipe. I just made a, a big pot of mashed potatoes to go along with it and a big side salad. Um, with homemade ranch dressing that my darn law Abigail made and brought because I was out of ranch and out of the stuff to make it. So that was our dinner tonight. It was really delicious. Like I said, you got to give this recipe a try. It'll be one that I think you would really enjoy. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming by every time that you do. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you the next time. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.